Welcome to Mike Ferry TV. It is the week of August 19th, halfway through a very important month. Because as you've heard me say in the past, it is not uncommon at all for real estate people to do little or no business in the month of August because there are vacations, getting the children ready for school because school starts in mid-August in most parts of North America. Um, you know, getting your mindset back together, getting rid of the hot weather, looking forward to a great fall. But one thing we do know, those that are working always have a great second half of the year. And I, I saw an article which I thought, as soon as I saw the headline, I said, I, I'm going to copy this down and I'm going to talk to our friends on Mike Ferry TV about it. The article was titled, Seven Ways to Stay Motivated During the Second Half of 2024. And that's the kind of articles that I always enjoy. So there's seven thoughts that this author presented. Um, I'm going to suggest to you that you probably watch this Mike Ferry TV every single day for seven days until the next week's program is available to you. I think it's that important in terms of understanding. So number one on the list of the seven ways to stay motivated, set realistic goals that are achievable. And if you set realistic goals that are achievable, it builds your confidence in what you're trying to attempt to accomplish. So set realistic goals that are achievable, which means something as simple as, all right, just this week, this week, the week of August 19th, I'm going to try to stay as close to my schedule as I can at least three times. And then on Friday, you'll go, gosh, I did it three times. You feel better about yourself. Number two, keep it fun. You know, it's so interesting to me how I do these seminars all over the world and so often these people are so intense and they're so upset and they, you know, they're just all, I'm going, folks, smile and laugh. I, I've told the story for years about doing a seminar in Long Beach, California. We had 500 people for a couple of days and there was a lady sitting in the front row and, you know, she was probably 45, well-dressed, attractive, um, but never smiled. And, you know, if you can sit through a seminar with Mike Ferry for a couple of days and not laugh and smile, you're pretty tough mentally and or you're not there while you're there. So after about an hour, the audience had been laughing quite a bit because I was trying to keep them engaged. And finally, I said, ma'am, I, I noticed that you're not laughing and smiling. May I ask why? And she actually said out loud in front of 500 people, I don't laugh and smile. It causes wrinkles. I couldn't let that one go by. I smiled and said, well, obviously, at one point you laughed a lot. Well, that uh, went over like a lead balloon, needless to say. But the audience laughed, I laughed, and then she finally did start laughing and enjoyed the seminar. Having fun every day is vitally important to a healthy mind and a healthy business. Number three, keep a journal. I kept a journal for probably 30 years. And I would write down at the end of each day the wins, W-I-N-S, that I experienced that particular day. And then one day I came back to my office at, at my home office and I realized I probably had 35 journals full. I mean, it was virtually stacked this high off the ground full of things that I had learned through my career. So I finally discarded all those and now I have a different system for keeping track of the wins. And I have a great staff that reminds me to keep track of all the big wins. Keep a journal. But number four, have somebody hold you accountable to the goals you've set. And then in return, hold somebody accountable to the goals they've set. Accountability is a big part of learning how to live your life at a high level of success. But accountability is not very common in the real estate business. Number five, remember your passion. Somebody said to me a couple months ago, um, what are you passionate about as a speaker today? I said, finding one person each day that's going to do the things that I say. If I have 100 people in a room or 1,000 or 5,000 or 10, I'm always looking for the one person that the fire gets lit and they get excited about that opportunity that we have presented to them 
Every time I can find that happen, my passion's being met. Number six, stay positive. And this is a tough one because, you know, everybody says have a great attitude, stay positive, have a positive mental attitude. Well, we live in a somewhat negative world. If you, I, I don't read the newspaper because there's nothing positive in the newspaper. But I talk to all these people that say, Mike, did you hear what happened? No, I didn't hear what happened. Oh my gosh, this is what happened. I said, well, how does that affect what you and I are doing today? Well, it doesn't. Then why would you want to know about it? See, I try to look for the positive side of everything that I'm doing. And number seven, which is probably the most important of these seven ways to stay motivated, celebrate little wins. So if you do something right today, make a note of that. Put it on a three by five card, keep it in your pocket. And then if you do something tomorrow that's a little win, write it down. So you can look at those every couple days and say, see, this has been a good week. I didn't get a contract signed. I didn't get a listing, didn't make a sale but I made three people feel good about the fact that they own the home they own, and we looked and talked to them about pricing and a possibility they might sell. Small wins can make a big difference. Okay, it's the week of August 19th. We have a couple weeks left in the month of August, and then of course September takes off like a rocket ship. We have September, October, November, December to really do something great. These seven things this author said and described for us can help us all do them a little better. Thanks for your time today. We'll talk to you next week.